Okay, everyone, welcome back. So, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna shoot this yet, but I'm gonna give it my best. Um, so, as you know, anyone who has uh, lung disease, it makes things uh, difficult to, to move stuff around. I can't carry things from the front yard to the backyard. It's just, I just don't have it in me. And so I got this cart to help me out. So this is the um, Kubota. I mean, it's not Kubota, Cobalt, seven cubic foot garden cart. And so I'm going to do a uh, putting it together and there's a, several reasons why I got this 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 one but um, um, and so but I'm gonna do putting it together I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, to take it but uh, a review on it or uh, just yet um, I will when when I can but I got it so that I can hook it to here on the back of my mower so um, I don't have to try to carry things around the yard because um, I just can't do it um, I do I get tired way 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 too quick so um, that's why I got this so give me a second let's uh, let's get this thing open and uh, see what we got. okay let's see if we open this thing up here um. Just give me a second. Okay, I'll take a breather there for a minute. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you open the box. I don't know if that's gonna focus right. So you've got your tires. I think this is probably gonna be your, your hardware. We're putting it together. You're gonna have your tires. Set these over here. your one part of your handle and this is the other I'm probably gonna set it on the set it on my table to uh, put it together just want to get these parts out real quick and uh hey, get this thing out here The handle is it by giving me the directions? It's just uh, directions, okay. Let me uh, take a minute. I think I'm about to uh, mount the camera on the tripod over there and, uh, and uh, put it together. But uh, take a minute here. The church here are the chicks, and four of them down here. And, uh, so anyway, give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, so I think I'm gonna try and build it on this table right here. So let's get this uh, tub out of here. Oh. 
Okay, so I think I'm actually gonna get to it this other way. This here, he's here, and it's here. Okay, so so that's like this here. Let's see where this is gonna go. This goes like so. This goes like this here. Whew. Okay, so and this goes on top okay let's see which ones of these do we need here okay so we need the four uh, square bolts is there anything else from there uh, not that I can tell so I go so in here you've got you know, these are all numbered right here, right? I don't know if you can see. So we want one and two, I believe is what, uh, what we're going to need here. So. Do it with my little knife. I got this one right here, so. Like they glued this stuff in here. It does not want to come out. It doesn't really want to come out with the little convincing you can get it to come. The bolts are easier. It's easier if you uh, partly screw these in to the bolt and then work it out. Other than that, if if not, it's a, it then it doesn't really want to come out. But just uh, start it and it'll come. There we go. Half right, bolts, half four screws. Now the bolts want to you want to go from up underneath. So you want to go up in here and they will fit into a little groove right there to keep them from spinning so you can get these things started and once they're up in that groove they're not gonna they're not gonna turn when I flip it back over I'll show you what I meant and what I mean you know so. Where's this thing at? Okay, um, there it is. So, um, so if I can get this thing together and my lungs don't really work properly, then you can definitely, if you've got lungs that do work, you can definitely get this thing together. It may take me a little longer, but I can, uh, I can get it. I just have to stop a few times. 
It's a few times here and there to, uh, you know, catch my breath. But uh, you can, you can get it. You can get it done. This is going to be a 17 millimeter. If I should have grabbed a ratchet, it would have, a ratchet. It would have been quicker. But anyway. Nice and tight. Okay. So that was the. Uh, okay, let's see what we got next. Okay. Whew. Okay, so now we want to spin it around and uh, do the other side. Okay, spin this thing around and work on the other side. Wait. Okay, so we want this piece here, and uh, there's one, what's the other side here? Okay, now, I forget what we're going to need here. Until just give me a second here. Okay. We need... Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, you know what? If you follow... The, I don't know why it just on me, but... Yeah, if you follow the... If you follow the directions on how to put this thing together, you know, we use one, two. Now this is part three. This is the part we're gonna do right now. Um, but I'm getting a little lightheaded. I just, I just need a minute. So this, let, me just, let me just take a minute. Okay, I got a little overheated there. So, okay, so, um, as I was saying, if you go by the directions, right, you've got what you need first, second, third, fourth, fifth, all right there. It's it's very easy, very self-explanatory. So, and the directions are pretty easy to follow. Pretty simple and easy to follow.
The one thing I can say is that they make this packaging so it does not want to let go of this stuff. It's gonna go. Okay, yeah, you might want to tear the packaging apart, start it so that it will come apart or else it really does, the packaging really does not want to let it go. So, this goes like, hold on, like so. That, yep. Okay, so this goes with the, with this side, I don't know if you can see that, that side goes facing up, and this square will fit, I don't know if you can see that, will fit right into this. That's perfect. You don't want to turn it so tight that it won't turn. Um, there we go. That makes it a little easier. Oh, I'm going to turn it back. I want it tight, but not so tight that it doesn't. Oh, it's a little too tight. There we go. That'll work. And now you just kind of got to feel how you, how you want it. But that looks good. Okay, let's move on. All right, what's this? Uh, Okay, the next thing is the pin for this handle, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wait because I want to get the tires on first before I uh, before I uh, before I uh, do that. So so I'm gonna jump on over to number five, and I, I'm only doing this because I'm putting the tires on first. I'm doing this. Up on the up on the table. So here are some keys. And wash your one. Now you're gonna need a pair of dikes to cut these uh I don't know what my computer are, but these will work. And obviously, you know, when you're putting these on, that the valve stem goes towards the outside. Whew. There's these black caps you want to take off. They're right here, just pull it off. Valve stem goes towards the outside. Then you put your washer. Then you slide your pin up. And then you, you, you bend the ends of it, which I'll show you here in a minute. Just 
same thing on the other side. Bow stem goes to the outside. Put the black cap off. So yeah, if I can do this, I may have to stop, I get it, but most of you, if you're thinking about buying this and you have a good set of lungs and whatnot, um, it won't take you any time at all to uh, put this together. It's very simple. So there's the front wheels. Now for the rear. anything negative so far it's just the packaging is is uh, incredibly difficult to get anything out of but uh but again screw these in sideways so we can uh, see what I'm doing here okay so turn this whole thing to the side So now you gotta take these black caps off right here. There's one on this side and one on this side. Okay. So then why isn't it so If you if you turn it, you can get it to go. So once you get it to this point, right where the slip is, where the slip is over the, you can use the bolt to force it the rest of the way on. Show you here in a second. So oops, twenty four. This is a 17 and a 24 millimeter, by the way. So, yeah. Uh, so, you can just push it. Then, uh, the other wheels. And again, the valve stem goes towards the outside. I mean, I'm sure most of you know that, but just in case there's someone who doesn't or somebody's in a whatever, just sewing it together, they don't forget. Um, they don't, uh, you know, it takes all kinds. So, you know, 
I don't mean that in a derogatory way, by the way. Just, you know, some people aren't um, mechanically inclined. And so, if you're not mechanically inclined, um, you can still put this together, trust me. It's, 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 uh, it's not difficult at all, so. Okay, so I'm gonna try and do this side over this way so you can get a better view of what is uh, happening. So this comes and it slides into here. It doesn't really want to slide very well, but it does go. All you gotta do is get the... See, it wants to come, but... So somewhere in here, on both sides, it didn't want to... Uh, doesn't really want to come, but if it doesn't come, I've got a mallet that'll fix that. Okay. 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 So this will solve this problem. I need something weird to hold it. There we go. it back a little bit get this on here this on here tighten her up come on there we go nuts okay so uh, come on where's that other Wash it on. This goes up here. This goes up here. There's a washer here. Okay, hold on a minute. A wash on here, it fell off. Give me a minute, let me find this washer real quick. Okay. Okay, find the washer. Let's see. These tires already come filled with air, surprisingly enough. What the hell did I just, oh, yeah. so what I do with the, that's hilarious, oh, here it is, Whew. okay, hopefully you guys can see this without it, so I just over this a little bit, so this comes up, and you just bend these tabs over, there right here, there's a, like so, that now let's see what else we got here we still got to put the dump part dump latch on um, let's see let's see you know well Amazingly enough, it doesn't exactly tell you how to put the dump latch on. But we've got parts, so let's just uh, let's just uh, put it on. I'm surprised it just it shows it already on, and it says these are the parts you need to assemble it. And let me show you real quick. It just shows you with it on there already doesn't show you how to put it on there but it tells you what uh, it's a 15 I mean it's a five millimeter hex so 
that's easy enough. So let's uh, let's get these. Uh, let's put this on here real quick. Again, it does want to, uh, this package does not want to let these go. see here how do they want this thing assembled okay. let's see so you can tell by looking at it what's what okay so this is gonna go like this okay so let me spin this around so you can see let me try to spin this around so you can see okay so I'll try to so on this handle here there's a little lip right here I don't know if you can see that that lip is supposed to catch right here on the on this bar there's a bar right here that's what's supposed to lock this in, right? So, so this goes here. Now it's got the, it's got these little, I don't know if you can see them, how well you can see them on here. It's got these little like, uh, things that were these, these, these um, nuts fit in here, right? So it won't allow them to turn right so as you put the you put the bolt and washer in from the inside it'll come from the inside into here into that that where that nut is seated seated in here and uh you you can put put that on like that so i'm gonna stand this up so i can uh, so i can do it but um i don't know how well you'll be able to see this so this goes like this, and the washer goes with the bolt, and it's gonna come up through. You kinda gotta hold this in here like so. To, uh, so I'm gonna start with just one, just find one, and I guess go with it. All I gotta do is really get them started. Just to go on.
Come on. So this one's having a harder time feeding too for some reason. Yeah, okay, here we go. I have these in sockets, I don't know why I didn't, just uh, grab a ratchet, it would go much quicker, but I figure everybody's got a, or maybe not everybody, but a lot of people have the, um, have the little key thing there, so hold on. Oh yeah, this one went right in, perfect. And you use a little, it's a little five millimeter to, to finish up the job. One of the other reasons why I got this card is it stores standing up. The way it's sitting right now, it will store this way. And you've got the little pin to put the handle on. So I'll show you here in a second. Well, you know, I got a little lightheaded earlier, so I went in for a bit, sat underneath the air conditioner, and um, hit my inhalers, and uh, waited a bit, and uh, I feel much better. I mean, I'm I'm still tired, but I'm not puffing and puffing like I was earlier. Earlier, man, it was brutal, but I'm feeling better. I have a rescue inhaler that I. Uh, Use, and sometimes I just got to get out of the, the heat and the humidity. It's hot in here. I have a air conditioner in here, but I'm not running it because I've got the, the baby chicks over there and they're like right underneath the um, air conditioner because I have to put the dogs in here at night. I block this whole area off so dogs can't get in there. And uh, that's why I have them over there and not like up over here somewhere. I don't know that the dogs would actually mess with them, but I don't want to find out. I don't want to come out here and find dead chickens in the morning. My wife and daughter would be pissed. And it would suck to spend all this time and effort on these chickens just to have a, your own dogs kill them. Okay, so. Let me get the other part to this, so. So you've got this pin right here and the handle goes into this pin. Right. So you store it so that when uh, you're using it. Right now, because I don't have a lot of room at the moment, I just want to get this video, I want to get this thing together and get it out. But um, I'll show you more. I'll show you uh, like a review on it later. Um, probably tomorrow. It's starting to rain and whatnot, so I can't go outside. So it's too humid for me to be out there anyway today. I mean, not for any more than just a little bit here and there. But anyway, this handle also comes off. So I can hook it to my lawnmower. Um, which is going to come in huge when I'm trying to uh, uh, mow stuff around the yard. Like, I can't even like uh, carry a bucket full of like gardening tools to the backyard without getting seriously winded. So I'm hoping that with this, you know, there's so much stuff I want to do 
outside, but um, but I don't have the ability to. So I'm really hoping a disc comes in handy for for me and uh, we'll be able to do the parts of things that I can't uh, do myself. So uh, that's the build on this. Um, and I will show you more next time when I take it outside, hook it up to the lawnmower and whatnot. Um, it's, uh, but right now I can hear it thundering out there. So, and I gotta bring the dogs in and get them out the way. So that's this. I will see you all next time. And uh, thanks for joining me on this little build here. Uh, I'll see you next time.